Hello, how are you doing? Look at my freaking Buddha. Fishes. They're hiding. Hello guys, how are you doing? I didn't record anything for a long time, so I figured I should say at least something. I was planning on doing two more experience videos and video from Nemiro, but then shit happens and I had to move and find a new work and everything and I moved to the place that there is no internet so what like so I was like okay I'm gonna start editing the videos when I have it but I didn't expect that it's gonna take me so long so yeah now I'm here anyway I'm just on my way to the training and after the training I'm gonna tell you what happened next on Emirov uh, what I'm planning on in next year and yeah, I'm gonna think about it later, so yeah, this training is gonna be legendary. <laughs>
Z takiego kam kamera maskę u... Keď po hodine príde, ale... Čo je to do silného, čo? Ja sa nekýtim, ale... Aha, ty vysoko. Budeme sa tváriť, že nebol faul. To je ani raný faul. Poď, 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 poď. Kontroli pronáciu si. Poď, kusok ešte. Pojďte ty. Keď otočíš... Keď otočíš, tak to pojde. Sa mi ľudia tie sirupové ruky, také gulišky proste tu. Úplne brutálne. Vianočka. Vianočka je. A ten tricet má taký struktúrový. Aha. Má genetiku, má fajn. To má dobrú genetiku po ovcovi, vieš. Aha. To ti robí veľa. Genetika. Človek tady čo si nejedol. Pome tedy, poď. Opa. Pekne, 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 poď, 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 zaber. Tedy ja dýchaj, poď. Dobre, pekne. I just came from this amazing two and a half hour practice and it was really humbling I gotta say but talent around here is really big so at least I know what should I work on so Nemirov, as I said early, earlier prior to Nemirov I had to move and do some big changes in my life and I would say that really affected my training which sounds pretty stupid because I felt really amazing, I felt really strong. But that just makes me wonder like how could I do in a perfect world when where everything went good. Anyway, there was 26 people in my category and I went one and two and finished on 19th place. Not the place that I was looking for. Uh, of course I wasn't seeing myself in the top three but I was aiming to crack that top 10 this year. Also, I didn't compete righty, I competed just lefty because I, I, I didn't want to risk my right elbow when my training looked at how it looked. But I have really no excuse for finishing how I finished. I felt strong, but I was sloppy and slow and just couldn't focus properly. And if I look at it from a bigger picture, it's just right that I finished 19. Because if I finished any better, after a year of not competing and just scratching some training in for the last two months 
uh, something would just look not right. So I wasn't really upset, this just brought the fire back to me, like, I was never more motivated than I am now. Like, I really needed this Azupin to get me to that next level, to push me farther than I am now. Right now, month after Nemirov, I have everything planned down. Like, I'm training harder than ever, I'm planning on competing three, maybe four times next year. For sure, I'm gonna compete at our nationals, then I wanna go to Worlds. And then again, I want to try the Nemirov. But there will be no laying around for a half year and not doing a shit anymore. Like, I'm back, I'm 100% back, and I'm, I love this shit, man. So anyway, great competition all around. Best competition that I ever went to, for sure. There were some good super matches. Which brings me to the point. I was in a corner of Tim Bresnan in his super match with Rastam. And I seen some people saying that we were shitty corner men because we wouldn't help him with anything. We didn't massage his arms, and I even saw Mazurenko said something about this. So, to be clear, Tim was completely fine. After every match, I went to him. I asked him if he wants massage, if he wants water, if he wants some ice, if he wants anything. Tim was completely fine. Uh, he was surprised that Rustam needed all the help that he needed because because. He, he said, we didn't even pull, why he's breathing so heavy? Like, it, if I was predicting anything, I would say, like, Tim gonna flash him maybe one or two matches, and then when the Rostam stops him and it goes down to stamina, it's gonna go down on him for Tim. But it went the other way, like, Tim was completely fine, he didn't want any massage or anything. He just wanted water from us and just let him breathe. Actually, one thing that Tim wanted was uh, Snezhana, to come massage his arm too. That was the only th only thing that they wanted. But any than that, he just wanted water and to uh, let him focus. So, stop saying we are shitty cornermen, okay? Anyway, thank you for spending some time with me again. I promise you guys I'm gonna start uploading some recent videos again. And I'm gonna try to be more consistent, man, cause, cause this thing is really not working. I'm gonna probably post more of my trainings on Instagram or at least I start to do it more I'm really not the big guy on social media as you know but I'm, I'm learning you know so uh, if you want to uh, go to my Instagram I think I'm gonna put it somewhere down there and yeah follow me there I'm gonna start posting more there and just hope you guys have an amazing day and see you in the next one